for the Sonic R run. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I will send you over to Risuru who's gonna run that for us. Good luck. Alrighty, I guess I'm here. Hi everybody, my name's Risuru. I run Sonic R, it's a game. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and get a few things set up. Um, I would like to introduce Laurie who is helping me with commentary here. Um, I'm gonna make sure everything's on you. Um, but go ahead, Lori. Oh. Ah! Uh, am I? Ah, uh, I can't. <laughs> I don't, apparently I can't be heard in Discord. I... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get back to that run in just a minute. Um, in the meantime, I'd like to tell you guys about the Yeti who has made an amazing shirt for us for the Fleet Fatales Marathon this week. Um, they will be donating $5 per shirt sold to Malala Fund. And you can find those shirts at theyeti.com. And they are a seriously cute design. Highly recommend picking one up. All right, we have a couple of donations coming in here as well. Um, we have $10 from uh, Sakura Storm, who says, long time watcher, but I had to donate for Sonic R Run. Good luck with the run, Risu. I believe in you. Thank you, Sakura. Okay, and it looks like we are ready to start the run. Um, so I will send you guys over to Risuru. Good luck. All righty, let's try that again. Um, so, hello again. My name's Risuru, I run Sonic R. Um, I am joined here today with Lori, who is gonna be helping me out with commentary. Um, I am gonna go and set up the stuff again. I did just wipe the save. So vocals are on, and we should be good. Your Lori. I'm sorry. I'm not I... saying anything. Oh, I couldn't. I can't hear anything. Gosh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I can hear now. Are okay. we good? <laughs> Let's okay. Technical race. difficulties. Yes. Hi. Lori, are you there? Can I hear I you? I am right here. Yay. Okay. Yay. Functioning okay. program Discord. Woohoo. It was bound to happen eventually, right? <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. All right. I guess we need a timer. <laughs> so, let's go ahead. All right, three, two, one, go. So, immediately, how do you 100% erase in game? Well, um, so for this game, we have a set of coins, and then there are also chaos emeralds uh, within the level. So our goal here is to grab all of these coins, there are five in each level, and then uh, the Chaos Emeralds as well. So after we get all of those, all of the coins, when you collect all of the coins, that unlocks a secret character for the level, which you have to race against. So, so you hope you like the one for this one. 
and then uh, the Chaos Emeralds play further uh, towards the end uh, after you get all seven of them. Woohoo, Super Sonic, you get Super Sonic. Um, so we're gonna make sure we, we do all of that. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna fly by. Um, we, we stand Knuckles here, so we like using Knuckles. Uh, his maneuvering is pretty good. We're gonna stick with Knuckles. Oh dear, I need more rings. <laughs> we're gonna stick with Knuckles. Yeah, so there's also these uh, doors. I still don't have enough, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the ring count is kind of tight, I'm assuming. RNG for this level particularly oh, is very okay. important because oops, there are also those uh, little, those little goal things that we saw and I was running through them and you can get these little, you, you, you get stuff from them. Sometimes you get rings and sometimes you get things Less that rings. you don't want. Less rings, exactly. So uh, we are facing Metal Sonic here. Um, the idea is to win and then we will have him unlocked. Um, What's kind of nice about the 100% category, especially no out of bounds, a lot of people um, are encouraged to run any percent no out of bounds first. And all of that uh, knowledge from that run particularly um, plays into the 100% run because when you do your versus races against the special characters, um, ideally you want to do the 100% or I'm sorry, the any percent route for that. So. Uh, if you if you are interested in running Sonic R, that's probably my advice to you. Um, try any percent no out of bounds first. All right, and then real quick, I did a quick little cutscene skip there. Uh, normally, this game uses in-game time for calculating runs and everything like that, so it's not necessary. But since we are kind of pressed for time here, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then, uh, this is Radical City. So, I'm trying <laughs> to remember exactly. You have, I believe it's four tracks to go through where you have to find the seven oh chaos gosh. emeralds. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. I might. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Everything. <laughs> the speedy shoes, as I call them. You don't want those. This is probably the one Sonic game you do not want the speedy shoes because it just messes you up so much. Mm -hmm. But I'm confident that I'm gonna be able to uh, get myself back in here. I've never played Sonic R, but it definitely does not look like the best handling game I've ever seen. The controls are fun. <laughs> the controls for this game are, oh my goodness. See, All right, so, like, am I gonna have enough? <laughs> so what I'm understanding is my thought of the controls in this game aren't great, are uh, correct? 100%. Um, but uh, once you get one of your fingers... speed games always give a unique challenge to them. They sure do. That I kind of like in some cases. Yeah. This game um, just kind of looks very slippery is what I've noticed, and the snow everywhere is, is a helping. Slippery is a great adjective to describe this game, actually. Um, slippery is probably the best word that we could use to describe the controls of this game, and that's not even with like the ice physics that might be in play here. <laughs> um, but with maneuvering, since we're on that topic, um, there is an acceleration button, which is very, very helpful and helps a lot um, when it comes down to like actually moving the character and making sure that you're cutting your corners and everything. Um, but there's also a thing called counter drifting. Also, this is Tails Doll. He is my son. <laughs> and I love him so much. He's doing his best. Um, but there's also another uh, tactic that uh, most, you're looking at like maybe the top five, 10-ish runners um, use called counter drifting and I do it a little bit on like walls that I know I likely will not flip into 
Um, you can go too fast in this game, and we learned that earlier today, and hopefully that doesn't happen. Not curiously on wood. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I'm aware of in this run, <laughs> is the various amount of clipping and out-of-bounds stuff in this game. Correct. Uh, obviously this category being no out-of-bounds, you can't do the ladder, but are there still things that the rule set allows you to clip through in races? Um, if there are, okay, so there is a part later, there is, um, I'll point them out once we get there, but there are a few things where, like, the collision just disappears, so technically you're not, like, out of bounds, you're still within the stage, um, but technically you're flipping through something that's supposed to be there, um, but, like, small, thin things, I suppose, are okay, um, but if there's like a major out of bounds clip accidentally, uh, you will know from me. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely seen runs of this game with out of bounds and on like these like races for the character where you're basically doing any percent, you like go out of bounds and then just like walk in a circle and it's 10 yes. seconds. <laughs> yeah, you pop yourself out of bounds and you just like dance in circles around the finish line. And the game's like, oh, wow, you did that laugh. Wow. Wow, that was really fast. Three seconds? You're fast. Dang. Yeah, so I counter drift a little bit on some of those there. Um, and then uh, ring collection is also pretty important. So, like, sometimes I can flip through like that little bit where I see that. Um, but ring collection is pretty big with this level for the 100% portion. Well, the part that isn't against the secret character. Um, but I am going to try and get as few rings as possible once I go up against our secret character. Um, I'm surprised at how, like, second... Like, just second-minded this whole thing is. So that pyramid there, when I unlocked the door, um, that unlocked that pyramid, and there was a Chaos Emerald hiding in there. And I only know that I got the Chaos Emerald because I heard the jingle, but it is very possible that I could have missed it. But you could see a little bit of it uh, with that one there. Fortunately. I think Amy's gonna be behind us. Oh, we are, like, right on her. So I'm gonna take the Ziggy here, and then we're gonna go up against my most hated character. He is so rude. Um, for, for this part, if, if any donations wanted to be read, that, woo, that can be done. Yes, we do have actually a bunch of love for you, so let me go ahead and all the donations. We have a $15 donation uh, from Anonymous who says, Recent plan donation time. And we have a $25 donation from Adam S who says, Hi, Racing Room. Feeling the sunshine at a GDQ event. Couldn't be more hyped to see you. I'm sure your races will be keeping the dream alive. Good luck. wrapping up this and praying that a robo does not shoot me. So I've switched characters. Uh, we typically like using Metal Sonic for this one, just for the overall top speed. Um, he is he is not Knuckles. He plays a little differently than Knuckles, um, but uh, he, he's still a, a handsome handsome metal boy. And he T poses when he jumps. question I saw that I'm kind of curious about because when you're 
doing the 100% section, you know, you're looking for like five coins and two emeralds usually. Yes. Um, which seems pretty hard to do while still winning a race. So, yes. Um, is there rubber banding at all? Or is this really only possible because of the lack of it? Um, rubber banding, like bouncing back? No, like in a lot of racing games, sometimes when you're further ahead, the AI will like speed up a lot more to make the oh. race seem closer. So, with Sonic R, when you are going so fast, the AI actually gets really dumb. So I, for this next race, in, especially, um, I encourage you to watch um, the little dots on my mini map in the bottom right corner, uh, and you will see people like uh, teleport. Um, I had one thing, Sonic clipped through an entire gate. So uh, it's it's really really weird. And uh, my son, Kale's doll, he's we're gonna see him in. Uh, Radiant Emerald, and he will probably come at us backwards and then warp across the stage. It's... It's... It's Sonic R. <laughs> Sonic R. Very Happy birthday, excited Sonic for that R. next stage. Yeah, oh, it's... It's beautiful. It's a great stage. And we'll get to hear uh, probably the best track on on the soundtrack I, I i wanted to say first thank you everybody for uh donating to keep the vocals in i had a friend message me they're like who would ever play without vocals why would anyone do that I'm like, i was you really pay, surprised you when i saw them. it as a bid for it. i just threw it up i'm like this could be a thing we could do this i can see what happens i'm just glad nobody thought like if no vocals were there that like i would do them because we're not doing that here <laughs> we're not doing that. I don't even know if I saw a donation for no vocals, so like, <laughs> good job, everyone. Yeah, that was, like, you guys know a good soundtrack, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's the one thing I always hear. I think, yeah, actually, uh, I went to a, a music panel, a Sonic music panel at MacFest, and at the end of the panel, I was like, can we can win some of Sonic R? Like, yeah. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, Metal Knuckles is running in circles here. You can see him dancing back there. That's, that's just what he do. And I can't, I can't wait to show you Radiant Emerald now. Gosh, it's gonna be a time. We're gonna see what happens. Um, actually, this whole last level is the, the general rule is just go fast, get rings. If you wanted to run oops, some more donations by, you can go for it while we all listen to this this banger of a tune. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. We have a bunch in here. So I have one a fifteen dollar donation from a Slime Bag, who says, "Hey, YouTube, good luck today. We're rooting for you." This donation straight from the Sky Finance Vault. Use Thank it God. <laughs> we have a twenty five dollar donation from Kiku, and it says, I am so happy to see this event exist. Had to donate during the Sonic block. Cheers to everyone that worked to make it happen. And then we've got a, a $15 donation from Lon, who says, hey Risu, good luck on the Super Sonic Racing. I'm so excited to see your first GDQ run live. Here's to good vibes and good races. Tails doll hype. Tails doll hype. <laughs> Want me to keep going? Please. Alrighty. Um, we have a $50 donation from Uriel Slana. It says, can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel that sometimes you just need to run away? And we have a $10 donation from RPM Snacks. It says, love Sonic R. So glad to see this run. I unashamedly know all the words to all the songs. Have a great run, Risu. Same. All right. Um, we are coming up on my last lap. Uh, so time will be once I cross the finish line. Uh, yeah, the, 
This, this whole part here is just... Oh, I think Tails Doll was flying out of bounds off to the right there. <laughs> I, I saw a sliver. Sliver of, of the sun. One cutscene we can't skip. Yay, Super Sonic Theater. And my son came in last place. It's okay. A for effort, though. A for effort. He does his best, and he wants you to do your best, too. So I'm gonna hit that. Um, we'll get the, the nice 100% you did it screen, which is what you only get when you unlock all the characters. Um, some people may be thinking like, oh, well, X, or, sorry, Eggman was uh, X'd out. Well, you didn't get all the characters. Um, after you beat Radiant Emerald, you get, you have rights to Eggman. So we, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Yay. Yay. Awesome. Great run, um, Racer Gigi. Thank you so much. Yeah, this was my first, this is my first speedrun event ever, so, uh, <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little nervous, but it was fun. Thank you all so much for having me, and thank you, uh, Lori, for your commentary there. No problem. Um, it was good to throw some banter with you, but Sonic R, everybody. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much again for that great run of Sonic R. Um, we are going to go ahead and take a short break before we get back to the final run in the Sonic block. So uh, just stick with us and we'll be right back. Hello everyone and welcome back to Fleet Fatales. Um, we are just getting to the tail end of our Sonic the Hedgehog block um, with the last game being Sonic the Hedgehog run by 2chan. Um, just wanted to let you know uh, that the Yeti is actually gonna be donating $5 per Fleet Fatales shirt that they've made for us for this marathon uh, to the Malala Fund. Uh, you can find the shirts at theyeti.com. Fleet Fatales and other hotfix events and shows are brought to you by viewers like you. Your subscriptions and bits help keep the channel running for these fun events, including shows like Fleet Fatales, Random Number Generation, Time Capsule, Mercy Kill, Runners Wanted, Tina's RPG Show, I guess, and more. <laughs> 